Welcome to Y Lecture Online. Now let's talk about the general format of the quadratic equation. Now we can either write it like this with a zero or write it like this. And in the previous videos we show you what the difference is. This is the functional representation of the quadratic equation. This is where we simply write it with y equals zero. That means we're simply looking for the solutions of the quadratic equation. Now a, b, and c here are simply constants. And notice that a cannot equal zero because if a equals zero, then there's no second order term. There's no what we call quadratic term. And therefore, then it's no longer a quadratic equation. Then it becomes a linear equation. So the only restriction is that a cannot be zero. You always have to have this term. You don't have to have those two terms in order to have a quadratic equation. Now notice, if a is positive, then the parabola that represents the function belonging to that quadratic equation opens upward. If a, however, is smaller than zero, if a is negative, then the parabola opens downward. And that's how you can tell the difference, what it will look like. But again, that is for later. Right now, we only are concerned about the places where it crosses the x-axis. And if it doesn't cross the x-axis, then we're looking for the imaginary solutions. Now notice that the equation you might look at may not necessarily immediately look like it belongs in that general category. For example, x squared plus x equals 12 doesn't appear to be in the general format. But then when you move the 12 across and we switch the equation around, then it looks like this. And notice here in this case, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1, and c is equal to negative 12. So it does look like it is a legitimate quadratic equation in the general format. Sometimes we may see something that looks like this, and again, you think, oh, is that really a quadratic equation, and does that look like it belongs in the right format? And it does, because we can square the left side, which makes it look like this. We can move the 25 across, makes it negative 25 plus 1 is negative 24. And again, you can see that we can make this look like a quadratic equation in the general format, where we have a equals 1, b equals negative 2, and c equals negative 24. So that is how you can tell whether or not we're dealing with a legitimate quadratic equation. Put in the right format, make sure a is not zero, and you have yourself a quadratic equation. And that is how it's done.